Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Henry Bird and Max Weiss. This game was played in Vienna in 1882. Henry Bird had white pieces and he started with e4. Max Weiss played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4. The Italian game. Bishop to c5, c3, usually intending d4. Knight to f6, white to move. Bird didn't play d4. He played b4. And this is known as the Bird's attack. This move was played for the first time in 1843 by the Saint Amant, but it was Bird who made it popular. The game continued. Bishop to b6, d3 defending the pawn on e4, d6, a4, threatening a5, a5, b5, attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board, knight to e7, knight to a3, knight to g6, bishop to e3, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, opening the f-file for the white rook, and strengthening white center. Max Weiss cast the king's side, so did Henry Bird. d5, e takes on d5, knight takes pawn on d5, queen to d2, queen to d6, knight to g5, e4 was a possible destination. So if h6, then knight to e4. Max Weiss played bishop to e6, g3, h6 attack in the knight, and now instead of knight to e4, knight takes bishop on e6, queen takes on e6. White to move, how would you continue? I guess e4 is tempting. Henry Bird played the rook to f2. Let's take it back. If e4 immediately, then the queen to b6 check, and the knight escapes. Back to our game. Rook to f2, now threatening e4. Queen to d6. Rook from a to f1. Knight to f6. Let's take it back. Taking the knight and attacking the pawn. On a4 is a bad idea. Let's have a look what happens then. If queen takes knight, then bishop takes on d5. The f7 pawn must be defended if knight to h8, c4, and if queen takes on a4, queen to b2, and white stands better. Back to our game. So, Max Weiss removed the target. Knight to c2. Rook from a to d8. All black pieces are mobilized. Did black equalize? It is white to move. How can white improve his position? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? Are you ready to see the move? Henry Bird played rook. Takes knight. Kaboom. The exchange sacrifice. Did you see this move coming? Pawn takes rook. And now, e4, not just attacking the pawn on h6, but intending knight to e3 and then planting the knight on a juicy f5 square. The game continued. King to g7, knight to e3, threatening knight to f5. Check winning the queen. Max didn't want to allow knight to f5, so he played knight to e7. Knight to g4, threatening queen takes pawn on h6. Rook to h8, defending. Rook takes pawn on f6, attacking the queen. Queen to c5, check. And this is also a very important moment of the game. It is why to move. Would you move the king or block that check? What would you do? Henry Bird blocked the check with knight to e3. Let's take it back. If king goes to g2, then queen takes on c4, 
would be very painful for white. Back to our game. Knight to e3 blocking and also defending the bishop. Black to move and in this position, which looks bad, Max Weiss went for a little trick. He played knight to d5. Why to move? How would you continue now? Heatherbird played bishop takes on d5. If e takes on d5, then king takes rook. Back to our game. Heatherbird played the best move and that is bishop takes on d5. Rook takes bishop. Let's take it back. What happens if king takes rook now? If king takes rook, then queen to f2 check. And after king to e7, queen takes pawn check. King to d6, queen to e6 check mate. Back to our game. So in this position we have rook takes bishop. How would you take on d5? You can't take with the knight. So what is the best move for white in this position? White played a move and black resigned and the move is queen to f2. Black resigned. If the rook goes to a safe spot, also defending the pawn on f7, then knight to f5, check, discovered attack on the queen. After king takes rook, queen takes on c5. And we can stop here. What a beautiful attack by Henry Bird. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.